What's up guys, welcome back. Today we are switching it up a little bit. We just finished the Predator 212 build and now I'm gonna do some work on my GTO. So I have the Brimbos from a Camaro SS and there's a kit online that you can buy to adapt these big old Brimbos on to a 04 to 06 Pontiac GTO. Today we are gonna be rebuilding them getting them back together and uh, trying to get them to where we can install them on the car with the kit that I got online. I'll try to leave a link for the uh, website to get the kit in the description. But other than that, today we're switching it up. It's not go-karts, it's uh, in the automotive world. So let's get started. All right, let's get started. So you can see, oh, maybe you can't. We've got the new O-rings, the new seals. And what I have here is a little container that I put some dot four in. I'm changing everything to dot four. So we have all our seals over here. We've got our bleeder screw. You can tell these are freshly powder coated. I use a guy here locally. The company is called DFW Coating. His name's Richard. He does by far the best work out of anyone I've ever seen. If there's an issue that you think possibly might be his fault in the powder, he will strip the whole thing and do it again. The guy is stand up. I've went to him for years now and he does an awesome job. So. But let's go ahead and get started. So in our little container of oil here, I'm gonna go ahead, you can see I got gloves on, try to keep everything clean. I'm gonna drop our four seals in the oil, dip them around, get them fully coated. Also gonna need a towel, that right there, so it's easier to grab. have our pistons they go in this is the back side the boot will go or the seal will go over onto this with the uh, this side going inside it'll sit in there just like that so these are not apart so it's gonna be a little bit more difficult but not impossible so if you look Pistons are super close to the same size, but you can see this one over here is just a hair smaller. And if you look on the brakes, you can tell this one on this side is a hair bigger than this one. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cover this. fluid and this is a brand new spill cloth so it shouldn't have anything nasty on it we're gonna put some brake fluid on these pistons and on the inside of the seal on both of these brake fluid on anything with a fresh powder. I know it'll mess up paint, but I'm assuming it'll do it on powder. But what we're gonna do is take these, slide it over to where it catches on the lip of the piston, just like that. So it'll be able to push out when the fluid hits it. these pistons now if you look you can tell this one is seated properly and this one 
still has the little lip hanging out, so you want it to be seated like that. And with the oil, you just kind of take your thumbnail, hold this back, and just squish it in there, and it'll make it roll. The oil will help make it roll, just like that. Seated properly. Little ones. can't get it to go in just pull back just a hair and it'll help it start sliding in. So, our pistons have the boot seal on them. Now on here, <clears throat> if you look inside you'll see the little groove. That's where the seal goes that we put in there earlier. Right on the inside of here. So we'll grab these out. And like I said, they're really close in size, which you'll be able to tell which one is the bigger one, which one's the smaller one. So the bigger one, we'll put it in. Sometimes these will roll as well. back the right way. It's a super tight fit. And there we go. Take a little one. Same thing. Okay, got a straight pick. We'll try that one. Just be extremely careful when you're doing this not want to damage that new seal. There we go. Got both those side, that side in. Make sure I don't got no brake fluid on it. We got our seals in, so we're gonna take my finger, I'm gonna dip my finger in some brake fluid, and go in here and just coat the whole inside with brake fluid, help these pistons slide in. It can be a little difficult, so all the help we can get is okay. Take the little one. pressure on it and it should slide in. And it'll get to where the seal is right on the edge. See if it helps slide past that lane. Okay, let's get the other side.
both sides are in. If those are in, it's, if there's any fluid anywhere, just make sure you get it off. Wipe the whole thing down. One side's done. Now we'll do the other side. All right. We got both sets in there. So now I'm gonna go grab the brake pads and get them all lined up. So all we gotta do is slide them on. And these will be ready. I'm gonna order the kits for the rear. I've got the rear calipers over there. Same color, they're just a little bit smaller, but I am doing dual calipers in the rear. One will be on a handbrake, and one will be for just normal braking. So let me go grab the pads and see if we can get the pads and stuff slapped together. Okay, so I ended up using the AutoZone Duralast Elite, which are supposed to be a ceramic pad. It has these things on it. I'm not sure what those are, they put them on there, so we'll leave them. Unless they don't clear my wheels, then I'll have to take it back apart and chop them. So we're gonna take this. I have some Ceramic Extreme brake parts lube that I've had for a while. I try to use it on all my brake jobs that I do. Put some all over the back. Also, on the bottom of this 
it's angled, I'm gonna add some grease onto it because that's where it's gonna slide on the top of the brake pad. And hopefully that'll keep it quiet. on here. Take your finger, push down. Fling it out. Just kidding. Everything's greasy, it's kind of a pain, but it's good to have it a little greasy like that. Because hopefully that'll keep us from having any brake noise, you're going to get grease everywhere, you can wipe it off when you're done, or as you go. Now with that in, you will take your little punch, give you a little smack. sound change when it bottoms out you listen that's the sound my book grease Brake pads are in and ready to go on. So we have to add the crossover still. This one. So put the paper towels on here. You have to add your crossover and your bleeder. So the kit I got. came with two I guess they assume you'll use one of your old ones because you can't see it because it's on the back side so on this caliper Might end up having to switch them, I'm not 100% sure. I guess I can go look on the car real quick and see how the brake line's gonna best go in because it's got the, where the brake line goes in. Put it on the passenger side, it'll be at the top. Put it on the driver's side, it'll be at the bottom. So I need to figure out if I want it at the top bottom so we can decide which caliper goes on which side so we can do the crossover. Okay so I looked at the ones on the car. The line actually goes in on the bottom so this is going to be the driver's side. We'll put our new bleeder on the side that you'll see so we get the shiny one. We'll take the old bleeder that came on it, put it on the back side because you won't be able to see that one. And then we'll put the crossover on the bottom and if you look on the caliper there's a groove right here that this protector will line it uh, right in and then the straight side will go on the side where there's the bolt so it will clear so we'll put 
that on. Tighten it up, this is a 10. Now the reason you do it like that is because the fluid will go in and air bubbles should rise to the top of the bleeders and it should make your life a lot easier when you are bleeding the brakes. So, take a look at this. The driver's side should be done, should be ready to go on. So now we will do the passenger side, get it done. That way we can get the front of this uh, brake conversion done and on the car. So I will do the front brakes real quick for the passenger side and end it off there. So let me get this one done and that'll do it. All right guys, that'll do it for this video. The front calipers have been rebuilt. They're ready to go on the car. They got the new pads, the ceramic pads in them, new hardware, seals, lines are put back on so they're in the right orientation and we'll see if that's gonna work if not all we really have to do is flip the bleeder screw and the crossover line when it's on the car if we have to move the um, the brake line to the top for length or just to clear things but they're back together greased up ready to go I'm super excited so the next video Hopefully will be of me putting the brackets on to install these on the car and bleeding the brakes. I can't wait. I think they're going to look awesome. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. That would be appreciated. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, let me know how y'all do it. This is the first time I've actually ever rebuilt an actual Brembo. I've rebuilt other calipers, but this one was the first time. Um, Shout out, thanks to my powder coater, Richard at DFW Coating. If y'all in the DFW and you need a solid powder coater, go see him, tell him I sent you, and he, he'll take care of you, I promise you that. But other than that, that's, that's gonna do it for this video. The front 2010 to 15 Camaro SS, four piston Brembos are rebuilt and ready to go on the car. So, other than that, the next video should be coming soon. So, until next time, guys, love each other.